This is your prime time forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Now from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College, East Alabama B Company, and Gray Hill LLC. Here's Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. I was over in Randolph County, snuck in there on Thursday evening to watch a T-ball game over on the West Bank, and Wadley certainly had a great time. Uh, it was good seeing a lot of you out there on Thursday afternoon as well. Uh, the grand boy did a great job out there on that T-ball field. Congratulations, Remington, on a great T-ball game Thursday evening over in Wadley, Alabama. Hey, look, uh, don't forget about the Randolph Kelly Learning Center's 48th annual bike hike on the way. Hey, we have the warm-up that will take place Friday, May 12th on the front lawn of Eagle 102, 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. Come out and enjoy all the fun. And then the actual bike hike itself will be on Saturday, May 20th at the Roanoke Rec Center. In Roanoke, the Dr. Don Road Show will be there. We hope that you'll make your plans to come by and visit with us and register for that NOAA Weather Radio that we're going to be giving away while we are on location Saturday, May 20th. I'll program it for you. So all you have to do when you get it home is plug it up and it'll be protected from severe weather. That's the Randolph County Learning Center's 48th annual bike hike. Be sure you get involved in some shape, form, or fashion to help support the uh, Randolph County Learning Center. Always a big event in Randolph County. One of the ways you can do this is get in touch with Jamie Dukas. Find out how much Jamie can save you on your commercial or personal insurance and then donate what you save this year to the Randolph County Learning Center or at least part of it because uh, it's going to be a lot, I can tell you. <laughs> get in touch with Jamie to find out just how much. It's free, doesn't cost you a dime and only takes just a couple of minutes. You can scan the QR code on your screen. You can click the link at the top of the video or or you can call Jamie at 256-831-7770 to find out how much Jamie Dukas can save you on your insurance. Also, be sure you head over to the YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. It's free and click that little bell so that when we go live to cover severe weather, you'll get that notification. So today, I don't think we have any severe weather issues. Matter of fact, uh, showers are going to be hard to find today across Alabama and Georgia. We thought that was going to be the case yesterday, and it turned out to be a dreary, cool, wet day for most of the day. It was just enough rain to keep you from being able to get outside and do anything. I mean, my goodness, we were going to go up to Lake Widawi yesterday and uh, hit the lake on the pontoon, and um, it was just enough rain, and it was just cool enough uh, to kind of change those plans, and I know that it messed a lot of you up. Uh, but today, I think uh, weather conditions will be a little better. It's certainly going to be warmer today. And we start the day with some clouds. And by the time we get to the afternoon, though, I think we have more sun than clouds. We cannot completely rule out a passing shower this afternoon. But I don't think we see rain coverage anything today like what we saw yesterday. If the further west you go, the better those chances will be to see some showers and thunderstorms today. As we look at Sunday, pretty much the same. Same thing, though I think our chances of seeing a little rain on Sunday are better than today. Uh, but again, nothing significant or in nothing organized. We're just talking a scattered shower, maybe a rumble of thunder from time to time on your Sunday. And then Monday will increase that chance a little bit more. But again, any severe weather issues will stay well to our north and off to our west. Current conditions at the East Alabama Bee Company in five points. It's 57. The high yesterday was 61. We currently have cloudy skies. Wind out of the north-northeast at 2, gusting to 4. Humidity is 95%. The barometric pressure at 30.20. And we've had four one-hundredths of an inch of rain in the past 24 hours. Sunrise this morning at 547. Sunsets at 728 p.m. Stop by ML Aubrey's in downtown Roanoke and Randolph Farmers Co-op in Widawi to pick up a jar of that delicious East Alabama Bee Company honey. Headed for 79 this afternoon. It's certainly going to have to start warming up to get us there, but 
That's what the weatherman says. 80 this afternoon in Ashland, Lineville, 78 in Wadawi and Woodland, 77 up in Ranburn, 79 in LaGrange. Dadeville hits 83 this afternoon, and Pine Mountain will top out at 79 degrees. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center for your Saturday, May 6th, 2023. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. Partly sunny conditions, and we've got clouds out there right now, but that will change as we go throughout the morning. 79 to 80 degrees, your expected afternoon high. 59, your overnight low tonight. Then on Sunday, we'll introduce a 40% chance of rain. I think that will be primarily in the afternoon. 81 will be the high on Sunday, down to 62 Sunday night. Monday, a 50-50 shot at seeing a shower or thunderstorm, 82. And then you see we maintain a 20, 30, 40% chance of rain Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, actually all the way into Friday with a 20% chance of an afternoon shower as well. Going to be kind of an afternoon pop-up thunderstorm uh, summertime pattern uh, as we get into next week because, my goodness, look at the temperature. By the time we get to Wednesday, we're almost at 90 degrees Wednesday afternoon. So with a little humidity hanging around, uh, we'll get those afternoon pop-up type thunderstorms all across East Alabama and West Georgia as we get a little preview of summertime across East Alabama and West Georgia. Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar showing a few showers over in northeast and eastern Georgia back over into South Carolina. Nothing across East Alabama or West Georgia. And then as we look down along uh, the Louisiana coast, we see some bigger thunderstorms uh, running parallel to I-10 uh, near Baton Rouge this morning. That's going to continue moving off to the east. I think our chances of rain may be a little bit better across the Mississippi coastal regions, Alabama coastal regions, and northwest Florida this afternoon and that area of thunderstorm activity will help limit our rainfall chances up here in East Alabama and West Georgia this afternoon. Don't forget to follow us over on Twitter. It's at DSTREN 1040. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at drdonwx.com. That's our home on the World Wide Web. And don't forget, if you own a business and would like to be a partner with us here on Dr. Don's Weather, all you have to do is send me a message on Messenger, and I can have you started by the time we do our very next weather forecast, which... If the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, we'll come first thing tomorrow morning right here on Dr. Don's Weather. Enjoy your Saturday. Bye now.